This might sound like an ordinary swamp now, but once nighttime arrives, it's the time of the frogs. As spring arrives, amphibians migrate to vernal pools and swamps to breed and create offspring. I want to uncover and observe as many of these cool amphibians as possible, so I'm setting out for a series of nights to try and document them. On the first night, I decided to walk along a stretch of road to reach a pond that was nearby. My goal was to find salamanders and frogs that were crossing the road because of an annual movement from their overwintering site to vernal pools and other bodies of water. Because it was a wet night, I quickly found this wood frog. This frog is most likely a female because its belly looks like it's full of eggs. I made sure to move it off the road gently and continued walking along the road. Next, I was able to find the spotted salamander. These salamanders are named for their bright yellow spots behind their head and back. Spotted salamanders move hundreds of feet to reach the water they were born in during late winter or early spring. Throughout most of the year, spotted salamanders live under rocks and leaves out of sight. This is also why the family they belong to are called mole salamanders. As I reached the pond, I was able to find a group of wood frogs breeding. These frogs are the first to arrive because they have a natural antifreeze in their blood that allows them to survive the extreme cold. Wood frogs will try to find mates like these two. These frogs are in a state of amplexus, where the male fertilizes each egg as the female lays them. I decided to come back in the daytime where there was a lot less activity. I was still able to find this cold wood frog that was sitting on the road. These frogs are one of the more diurnal amphibians, only active at night during breeding. Of course, I made sure to move the frog out of harm and closer to the ponds where it was moving towards. Once again, I returned at night to find these amphibians, where I was able to find the spring peeper crossing the road. These frogs are named for their sharp trill, which can be heard throughout several weeks in spring. In one of the ponds I visited, I found more wood frogs, each displaying a variety of colors. These included a more blue coloration all the way to a dark red or brown. On the way back, I found this four-toed salamander. These salamanders are normally quite rare, but the wet roads brought the salamander out to breed. Four-toed salamanders lay their eggs near ponds and other bodies of water, and once the larval salamanders hatch, they move into the water for a few weeks, soon after returning to land for adulthood. The next night was full of breeding wood frogs. The vocal sacs found in this frog species are extremely interesting, because there are two separate sacs found on either side of the head. These vocal sacs are called paired lateral vocal sacs. Vocal sacs allow male frogs to create noises that can travel very far, hopefully attracting females. After observing the many wood frogs, I found a group of spotted salamanders in a pond nearby. Salamanders don't call like frogs. Instead, the males rely on the females following them to spermatophores. Females will lay eggs attached to underwater plants, forming egg masses. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the best video with the phone I had on me, and I also failed to record this red-spotted newt I saw. The next day, I returned to the pond I had been checking regularly for one reason. I wanted to see the spring peepers calling. While I had seen spring peepers crossing the road and wood frogs calling previously, I hadn't seen the spring peepers actively calling due to the fact that these frogs are very small and concealed. So I returned in an effort to find them before the breeding season was over. Luckily, it was the most active night for spring peepers yet, and I was able to track their calls to the males. Unlike wood frogs, spring peepers have a single throat sac, and since they call above water, they have thinner vocal sac walls. I was able to find spring peepers wherever I looked, and when I was walking back along the road, spring peepers were constantly moving across.